So my dear students, there is a update from CBSE for 2025. So is this for NEET 2025 students? Definitely a yes. But this is also very important for the current NEET 2024 students. You will understand when you watch the video till the end. So let's quickly dive into the update official notice. And like you know that this channel believes in official and you know to the point information so these are not based on rumors so this is the official cbse website like you can see now diksha ma'am will show you the important notification by cbse for neat 2025 as well as the 2024 students okay so before we see that make sure you have hit the subscribe button because you get the first hand information on the vedantu neat english channel so quickly hit the subscribe button if you have not done that yet please do that and yeah thank you for liking the video okay so guys firstly jump to the cbse.nic.in and here students academic website right and here you will see the notifications okay so you will see the assessment and evaluation practices right so after that we will have this pdf so this is officially on 3rd april 2024 as you can see and now students as you can see they have given some information regarding the assessment new pattern so share sir will you please tell us the students that uh, what is that new information yeah so interesting thing ma'am over here if you see uh nep is basically the national education policy and 2020 onwards slowly it has been implemented mm -hmm. in different stages mm -hmm. and the important thing to note over here is that nep wants to include more competency based questions in the class 10th and the class 12th board examination if you remember this year in 2024 also the question paper was little bit more different than the previous cbsc papers slowly the number of objective questions are increasing and nep as well as the C, uh, cbsc uh, you know officials they believe that students should you know uh, learn through objective questions and uh, application based questions yeah. and not through memory based Ramming, questions all that like uh, it the focus the idea of assertion reasoning questions and case based questions was that uh, cbsc want just they don't want you to just clear 12 board exam they want you to be more inclined towards the conceptual knowledge and so that you can get into good colleges whether you are preparing for neat or any other competitive exam you have to be very focused on the conceptual knowledge deep understanding about the concepts correct so the important you know slide would be or the page would be this slide uh, by the way i think diksha ma'am has showed you how to land on this page use the official link don't uh, download any other link so this is the thing ma'am can you explain to the students the important changes uh, 2024 versus 2025 yes so guys as you can see just a minute uh, wait sir Okay. So guys, as you can see, here the competency focused questions were just 50% that includes a subjective, that includes assertion reasoning, case based questions and that includes source based questions. Okay, So that was 50% in 2023 to 2024 session and the constructed response like long short answers where you have to do the subjective knowledge that was 30% right. and now it has jumped to 70% how so can you please tell the students how this is crazy so basically the uh, assertion and the other questions are now to 50 percent the proper mcq questions are now 20 percent so 50 plus 20 is 70 percent and the long answer pattern questions are just 30 percent oh. so that's a big change yeah. now that you understood what is the change yeah. the real question ma'am is what will happen to the difficulty level of the cbsc paper and what will happen to the difficulty level of the Neat paper. Neat paper. So I think, sir, if you think about something like key. Now they have you know level up the CBSE questions. Now this will actually help you guys. This is actually a good thing. If you want to just passing 12 board exams, it's going to give you nothing, right? You have to clear some competitive exam, especially for NEET students. Now you know that all these things, you know, 70% of the paper will be conceptual. That will be totally MCQ based, source based questions, assertion reasoning. That is going to you can apply that thing in your NEET exam and that will level 
fill up your neat preparation as well that will be like uh, you know uh, before going to match what do we do we do practice practice so like it is like a booster session. and a practice session yeah. so some students will be like sir i'm from cb uh, sorry state board is it going to impact me obviously no but the moment you prepare for a competitive exam like neat because students are now preparing more objective questions obviously their mindset will change obviously they will spend more time for neat and other competitive exams so you can see an more intense competition in the neat 2025 yeah now what used to happen ma'am before this students used to basically prepare only for boards or majorly for boards that is most of the students and after the board exams they become very serious for neat exam but this time it will be not like that not because like it's that. almost like objective Same. 30% question subjective easily you can do it so that is the reason why we are saying the competition will increase yeah. now what is the problem for the neat 2024 students yeah. by chance if you don't hear neat 2024 hmm. then the problem is you have to compete with neat 2025 and those students are already well aware that they have given the cbse board exam with this kind of pattern right cbse is increasing their level and nta will also increase their level like level increasing doesn't mean if someone is crammed the concept for for that person for that student questions are going to be difficult for someone who knows the core concept who, who knows the conceptual knowledge for that person the questions are going to be easy because that mm. that will actually going to save the correct. time correct right so i hope the conclusion is clear more competition more objective oriented questions more application oriented questions simultaneous preparation of need along with boards that naturally pushes up the competition level is so that will indirectly affect the state board students and need 2024 students who want to take a drop will face intense competition that means you have to clear need this year itself and need 2025 might even have more need registrations so for uh, preparing for need 2024 we also have the need 2024 uh, crash course dot e as you can see on the channel right so now uh, it's there on the channel just one second i'll have to open up youtube and show you but okay i'm um not sure where the link is anyways so in the link of the description box what you can do is you can go down and you can check uh, the link for the crash course just click on it and click on buy course it's just for 9.99, 999. rupees and use it along with the youtube classes on youtube we are conducting the block strategy we are conducting mock tests we are conducting problem solving we are conducting so many sessions for you so that you can boost your preparation don't just watch youtube classes don't just attend crash course classes use every material that you have and the best part is it's an affordable price yeah. which means that you can you will not feel the pinch 999 rupees versus paying lakhs of rupees for the medical college i mean obviously you will choose them it's more of like an investment for your future yeah correct right? like we are mutual funds it's the most important investment of your life correct so yeah thank you very much guys for watching this and i hope this information was very useful share it with your friends and relatives and all other batchmates as well this was your captain shreyas and diksha ma'am going live from the bangalore studios bye bye take care bye take care